who was, uh, she was like Miss North Dakota. And we were talking a lot, and, oh, you're an amputee. Sweet. I'm not violating your medical privacy because you're wearing shorts. So you should <laughs> display that to everyone. Um, I, uh, and so anyway, so she was going to be competing in Miss America pageant, and she was really hot. And by which, of course, that means she had a great personality. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, well, obviously we should date. And so I was like, obviously for us to date, I should probably go watch her at Miss America. And she would be, like, really impressed that I went to see her. And I don't, like, I know that sounds slightly creepy, but we were, like, friends. Like, we talked a lot and stuff. So I was living here, like I said. So I drive over to, uh, to Miss America pageant. And the very sad conclusion of that story was, that like we talked for maybe five seconds. I was at this dinner the night before the pageant. That it was like really expensive to be there. And I saw her. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And she was like, you didn't tell me that you were gonna be here. And I was like, yeah, that that was the point. It was a surprise. It was a surprise. And then it was just really sad. And um, but the awesome thing that came out of it was that. Shortly after we had that terrible encounter, I was in the uh, the men's room, and the reason I was in the men's room was because I had this was like a black tie event, and so this is mostly girls here. But has anyone ever tried to tie a real bow tie? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Excellent. Luke Conrad, have you ever tried to tie a real bow tie? Yeah. How did it go for you? Yeah. It was uh, pretty hard. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard, right? Because they're always like they're they, they're sort of like crooked and uneven. It's like impossible to get them to stay straight, you know. So I'm in the men's room for like 20 minutes, standing by the mirror, trying to like straighten out this bow tie, and I'm just very frustrated. Like, oh, the next time I have to wear a real bow tie, I'm going back to prom style clip-on bow tie. This is just this is too complicated. And it's just too difficult. It's just not worth it. Not worth it to wear a real bow tie. So I'm thinking about this, and at that moment, this older gentleman walks into the men's room, and he sees me standing there, and I guess, you know, he sees that I have one leg, and, and when people see that I have one leg, you know, they often want to, like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> That's what people often say, actually. Like, really weird. Uh, is there a fire alarm? It's like a fire alarm thing that goes on through the whole mall. So it's really disturbing. It only happens like maybe once a day.
having a disability and have crutches that I'm like <laughs> pretending to use. And uh, and then he like and then I'm he could see from my face that it's like he did not correctly guess what my costume was. <laughs> so I'm just like, <laughs> well, the situation is well. I don't like what could I possibly say? Like there's nothing I could say at that point that's not going to make him feel like totally awful and awkward. So I just like I'm just like I'll just I'll just ride this out to see what happens. So I'm standing there and then he like looks down and this is when he was like. Oh, and then he said a bad word that I will not say in your presence. <laughs> <laughs> it was really bad. <laughs> and it rhymes with yuck. And, <laughs> and, uh, and then, cause, cause what happened was he kind of started like walk around behind me. I guess he was imagining that like I was holding my leg up like this. And, he, like, and then he sees that there was no leg there. And then he was just like stunned. You could just see like crumpling to the ground. <laughs> and my roommate Brad told me he had to probably see Brian in videos. Brad is just like, yeah, this is not going to go well for you. Because <laughs> you can see the guy was like trying to come up with something to like make his way out. And Brad's like, yeah, it's not going to go well. And then the dude is just like sort of slinks away very awkwardly. Um, oh, man. Oh, here's, let me tell you this other story that's not on my YouTube channel. Because I was talking about, this is how it came up last night. My friends and I were talking about this. This is one of like the most awesome inadvertent thing that someone ever told me. I was at a... Um, it was a couple years ago, I was at the movies, and I was, uh, I guess, I don't know, have you guys ever been at the movies when, like, the, the screen breaks? That ever happened to you guys? Yeah. 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 Oh, what movie were you seeing? Um, I think that was... No, are you? Do you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wow, that's a very weird bond we have here. I told her to make sure she like muted herself out because I'm always paranoid that I'm gonna like not recognize someone and then they're gonna be like really sad or something. It almost happened last week when I was in New York. Do you guys know um, Kate Sky? You know Kate Sky? Uh, you know. So uh, like I, I knew her like from from the internet and I was talking to like her and uh, Karen Cabot and a couple of like nerd fighters and like we talked for a really long time. They were about to walk away and I recognized Kate Sky. Just barely. It was almost really embarrassing. Anyway, what am I? What am I talking about? Oh, the movie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So um, you saw. Yeah, yeah. So there, we have this movie with my friends, and um, yeah, they're like the screen just like goes black, and it's like it's like not working obviously, and everyone's just like sitting in the theater, just kind of feeling very disgruntled at this movie that's not working. And you look up, and you know, in the top uh, of a movie theater, there's always like this box that's like you know, about here, where the, the movie is projected out of, it's just this open area. As we can see up there, there's, like, some guys trying to fix the uh, projector situation. So I was like, all right, I'm going to go scope this out, see what's going on, like, if they're going to fix this or whatever. So I go up there, and I had to, like, stand on, you know, like, the top chair of the, uh, the theater, and then just barely, I could kind of, like, poke my head into their little room. <laughs> and so I, I poke my head in, and I'm like, hey, guys, like, what's going on? Are we going to get this situation fixed? And one of the guys turns to me, he's like, he's like, whoa, whoa, this is very dangerous, what we're doing here. Please step back. If it blows up, it would blow your leg off. <laughs> And like everyone in the theater around here, they see that I have already had a leg blown off. And they're all like, oh. And I was just like, thank you for informing me of it. I would not want to lose a leg. Oh man, I really wish I had run into him like later. That would have been awesome. It didn't happen though.